Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export GridView to Excel with formatting in HP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. This is my web.config file and this is my connection string. I am connecting to the Northwind database. On the right hand side, you will see a link to the video which explains how to download and install the Northwind database. So let's start. We'll start by adding a grid view control. I'll be implementing paging in grid view. Hence, I am setting allow paging property to true. Now I am adding some colors to the grid view. I'll be using some properties of the grid view like row style back color. and alternate row style back color. Now I'm adding the on page index changing event handler. Now I'm adding some columns to the grid view. I'll be adding three bound field columns. I'm making use of the customers table of the Northwind database. The three columns will be contact name, city and country. Now the grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. We'll start by adding the namespaces. System.io. This will be required for exporting the grid view to Excel. System.data. As I am making use of data table. System to drawing. This will be required for colors in the grid view. System to data dot SQL client. I am making use of adu.net. System to configuration. This will be used for fetching the connection string from the web.config file. Now I am creating a method bind grid. This method as the name suggests will be used for 
populating the grid view. I am creating a method because I'll be using it at multiple places. Now I'm fetching the connection string from the web.config file. Now this is the SQL connection object. Next is the SQL command object. Here I am writing the query to fetch the records from the customer's table of the Northwind database. Now I am creating an object of SQL data adapter. Now the connection has been assigned to the command object and the command object has been assigned to the SQL data adapter. Finally, the data table object is created. Now the data table will be filled with records from the customer's table and it will be assigned to the grid view as data source. and the grid view will be populated. Now I am defining the on page index changing event handler. It is used for paging in grid view. For more details, please click on the link which is shown on the right hand side of this video. So the grid view population part is completed. Now inside the page load event handler within the notice postback condition we'll call the bind grid method. So let's run the code and check it. As you can see the paging is working properly. Now let's move to the next part which is exporting grid view to excel. We'll start by adding a button. This button when clicked will export the grid view with formatting to excel. Now I am assigning an on-click event handler to the button. Now let's move to the code behind. Here I am defining the event handler for the button. 
grid view will be exported to Excel in HTML format. So this will be done using the response class. So first I am clearing the response. Then I am setting the buffer property to true. Now I am adding an header to the response. This header is called content disposition. It is used to tell the browser that the downloading file is an attachment. And also it allows us to set the file name for the exported file. Specifying an attachment tells the browser that uh, the file must be saved on the computer. That means user will get an option to open the file or save the file. While if you don't do that, then the file will be automatically opened in the browser. Next, I am setting the content type property of the response class. It is used to notify the browser about the file type. For example, in current case, it is an Excel file. Now, let's say you click on the open button. Then it will automatically open the file in Excel application in case it is installed on the computer. Next, I have created an object of string writer class. And then an object of HTML text writer class. Both these classes are used to render the grid view as HTML. That means the grid view is converted into an HTML table. And then the HTML table is written to the browser using the response class. And since we have specified the file as an Excel file, it is downloaded as an Excel file. So here a question arises, how an HTML table is converted into an Excel file. So this is actually a trick. We are not actually creating an Excel file. We are actually exporting the HTML table, but putting it into an Excel file means the HTML table is put into an Excel file and the Excel file displays it. That's all. Now, since we have to export the whole grid view and there is no facility of paging inside the Excel, I have set the allow paging property to false. And then again, the bind grid method is called. Now, the next thing is to apply formatting to the grid view so that we can export the grid view with formatting to Excel. Now, once the formatting has been applied to all the cells of the grid view, I am setting a CSS class for each cell, which is text mode. This CSS class is actually useful when grid view contains some numbers because when the data is exported to Excel 
excel will automatically convert some long numbers or large numbers to exponential value so to avoid that it is better to apply this particular class which does nothing but specifies the excel file that this particular cell is actually a string value and not some number now using the render control method i have rendered the grid view as an html table and then using a string variable i am defining the text mode css class inside the style tags finally the grid view html as well as the css style which we have defined in a variable is written to the response and the response.flush method is called and finally the response is ended so this completes the download part or we can say exporting to excel part of the grid view now i am adding an additional empty event handler which is required to avoid an error which comes when you render a control in this case it is a grid view without a form tag so our coding part is complete let's run the code and check it now i am clicking on the button and the browser is showing option to open the file or save the file now this warning is because we are exporting html to excel you can see the grid view has been exported to excel with formatting now with this we come to the end of this video the source code and demo links are available in the description thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon see you soon